like, I don't know. It looks like something that wants to eat us. Uh oh Zoinks, there's another one. <laughs> We're surrounded. Like, run. I can't see, even with my glasses on. Wait a minute. Why don't we just turn a light on? It's got a flashlight. wears to the carnival. <laughs> like, wow! With a light on, it's not that scary. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the books of John and Jude teach the saints how to dispel fear and darkness, which is beginning to seep into the young church. Antichrists have arisen like wolves in sheep's clothing, sowing confusion, denying Christ, justifying immorality, refusing the truth, and following lusts and whims. And you know what? These folks are alive and well today, using lies, flattery, confusion, and donkey snacks to turn us away from the commandments and try and get us to seek happiness outside of the atonement of Jesus Christ. These people divide you and follow their natural instincts and do not have the spirit. Thanks, Jude. Let's keep watch. And now, as a super special witness of Jesus Christ, the awesome apostle John the Beloved shines his bright, loving light with his three letters to help the early saints dispel this creeping darkness with the light of love. Remember, John's style really differs from the historical synoptic gospels and the logical teachings of Paul. John takes a heavenly perspective. So as you read 1st through 3rd John, enjoy his poetic and powerful language that elevates us. It's a delightful view that pierces the darkness. Love is like a light bulb. God is love. It can be scary to exercise faith in making big decisions, especially when there are so many unknowns. But Jesus has already defeated the scariest things, and nothing is unknown to him. He reflects the love our Father in heaven has for us. God is light. In him, there is no darkness at all. It can also be scary or out of our comfort zone to forgive, serve, and share the gospel with others. But if we don't love others, John says we're in the dark. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light. Perfect love casts out all fear. So think of how a little baby is surrounded by love and taken care of in every way before ever learning how to love back. God loved us first, and that's how we learn what love is. Now, when astronauts see the Earth from space, it's a huge change in perspective. One minute they're on the Earth, surrounded by the challenges of life. The next minute, the whole world is like a jewel glowing in the dark of space. That experience is called the overview effect. Astronaut Edgar Mitchell, who walked on the moon, said, On the return trip home, gazing through 240,000 miles of space toward the stars and the planet from which I had come, I suddenly experienced the universe as intelligent, loving, harmonious. It would be so awesome to see the Earth from space today. Maybe we'll be able to. But we don't need a starship to get that heavenly perspective. Prophets, ancient and modern, help us to see the true nature of God, ourselves, and others. Listen to these beautiful words from John. What do they mean to you? Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Sure, there are spooky challenges all around us, but if we remember that God's plan and the whole universe is powered by love, we'll have the courage to seek His will and move forward without fear. God loved us and believed in us long before He asked us to believe in Him. And our most important job? Reflect His love to others. We love because He first loved us. Dear friends, since God so loved us, 
we also ought to love one another. Almost 50 years ago, Living Scriptures was founded to help everyone better understand and feel the power of God's Word. Who knew that today's Line Upon Line series would touch half a million lives every week? Season 4, The Glorious New Testament, is in production, and you are invited to help us in this great cause by clicking the donation link below. And, as our gift to you, anyone donating $10 per month also receives a Living Scriptures streaming subscription. For a donation of $1,000 or more, our artists will give your likeness a cameo in one of our videos. Together, through the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can make a lasting impact on countless people around the world. From all of us, thank you. And now, go read the scriptures for yourself.